where you grew up here, Shannon County. I was born in Shannon County. I was born in Berkeley. And uh, so uh, Missouri can lay claim to two Shannon County born governors. Mr. Holden would come along later. Uh, and then, of course, numerous uh, officials, uh, Senator Staples, Danny. Uh, and, and I remember enough, I was probably six or so when we, before we moved to the farm in near Elsinore. Uh, I, I have some memories. I remember, like, I liked helping people even early. And I would help other kids catch fireflies and put them in box. So I guess you can truly say my early years of service were illuminated. Uh, I, I remember helping other kids catch nightcrawlers and worms. Uh, young kid, I you know, now I didn't play, and we were talking some a while ago. I didn't play marbles around the house, but. Those of you familiar with my father will, will know quite why he wasn't gambling, and I inherited that. Uh, I went on uh, because of my father's service, had a wonderful life as a young man at Washington, D.C. For, for a high school kid. Met the love of my life, uh, the first female, by the way. To, we have several firsts in the family. She was the first in her family to graduate high school. She would go on, thanks to my untimely demise, she would go on to be the first female to represent Missouri in the U.S. Senate. Wasn't the first, first female in the U.S. Senate, but she was the first one to represent Missouri. I have, and somehow I think John's laughing about this, I have the dubious distinction of being the first and only member of the U.S. Senate elected after my death. But I was elected by narrow margin over my own political rival, John Ashcroft, uh, right at three weeks after I passed. Uh, so that's kind of an honor, I guess. What I would like to avoid, it, to be honest. <laughs> you know? But my wife, I think, did well for that two years. And like I said, she has the honor of being the first female to represent our great state, Missouri. Uh, I had some great times in all my. You know, I was a municipal judge first in Rolla, and some of the, I talked about the minutia in my life, some of the characters I met and some of the cases that came before municipal judges back then, looking at it even when I passed in 2000, let alone looking at it now from 2022, it's hard to believe these things made it to court. But uh, I did actually one time officiate a chicken thing did actually had to rule on the prosecution of a chicken thief. The municipal judge, municipal district as well. Uh, some of the things I did very proud of, uh, and to this day my stand would have changed, even though advisors at the time said you're costing yourself important political capital, very much in education, very, very strongly pro-education. Of course, my father is an educator, a superintendent, uh, we were taught up to, to believe in public service and maybe teaching a higher public service than political service. Having said all that, I, I burned up political capital fighting, uh, fighting the ballot initiative for the lottery to fund Missouri schools. It's gambling. And a lot of people pointed to me, you know, well, you're a Baptist. Proudly, I'm a blessed Baptist. I think I'm here today rather than there today because of that belief. Having said that, if you took religion out of it and tried to the separate state, still the fund may be one of our most important responsibilities as a state with gambling, I found this wrong. So I was against that. I was against the permutual betting initiative. Both of them passed. Uh, but I still stand strongly against that. 